Hello everybody, it's Parody Lunar and I'm back with my second tutorial um, from my clothing making series. And today I am going to be teaching you how to make a clothing applier using the Omega, Develop Omega Developers Kit. Um, we are going to be applying the knowledge from um, the tutorial that I made uh, yesterday from um, making a standard and a mesh t-shirt in order to make the Omega appliers um, for your mesh body. Uh, now you're probably wondering um, how come you're not making appliers for Maitreya or Tango or Belize or what have you, like why are you choosing Omega? And it's because Omega is like the universal kit for almost um, virtually all mesh bodies um, and plus it the developer kit is free you don't have to own a specific body to get the developers kit um, and also when making a plier clothes they all kind of work the same exact way when making a pliers um, plus everything in the developers kit for Omega it seems to be a lot easier um, also you don't need to be authorized or approved in order to make um, developers kits for Omega, it just seems to be much easier to do it this way. Um, and it it's don't worry, it's super easy. Um, and if you missed the tutorial yesterday on how to make a standard in a mesh shirt, I have the link in the description box down below. Um, you're not going to want to miss that, so go ahead and look at that if you haven't already because we're going to use the t-shirt that we made yesterday and use it in our applier kit today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the marketplace and I'm going to get the Omega's developers kit. I also have the link to that down in the description box. So um, I'm going to open up my browser. I already have it loaded in. Um, and I am already on the Omega um, Marketplace and uh, this right here is the Omega, Omega Systems Developer Kit and as you can see it is free and it says everything you need to make a pliers for the Omega Applier System and um, I already have, I've already purchased it, and I have the Matreya mesh body, and I already have the Omega relay system for Matreya. So if you have a mesh body, um, uh, make sure you also have the um, relay system that's appropriate for your mesh body so you can test everything out. Um, that makes everything a lot quicker. Um, you can, if you don't already, you can also find the uh, relay system appropriate for your mesh body in their store. So if you have a slink body or a Belize body, you can go ahead and get that. So um, we're going to go ahead and log into our account and I am going to go ahead and teach you how to make that applier using the t-shirt that we made yesterday. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now I am logged into my account and I already have the developers pack purchased so I'm gonna go ahead and unpack that and it looks like that there are two versions of that so hmm. I'm copy that to my inventory And I'm going to go ahead and unpack both the standard and then I'm going to put that in the same folder just so I know where everything is. And then the materials applier. Okay. 
Okay, so now that you have everything resed out, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to the folder where it says Omega Advanced Standard Applier Kit, and you'll want to open up that folder. And then you'll want to go down to where it says Omega Advanced Applier Upper, since we are making the shirt applier with using the shirt that we made yesterday. And we are going to right click, I mean, left click and hold, and we're going to drag that out to the ground and rest out. And as you can see, it's this tiny box, and that's actually the applier HUD. And if we zoom in really close, it looks really familiar now, doesn't it? That's actually the Omega applier HUD. So what we're going to do is we're now going to make our applier for our shirt. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to hunt down our texture of the shirt that we, the standard shirt that we made yesterday. So if you can remember, um, the name of the standard shirt that I made yesterday was called Valentine T-shirt. Now we don't want to click on the clothing layer, we want to actually right click on the texture itself. And we want to, when we right click it, we want to click on Copy Asset UUID. And what that does is it copies a its um, unique um, ID number and like I've described in another video, um, everything in Second Life has its own ID number. So objects have its own ID number, hair has its own ID, your avatar has its own ID. So basically it's just an identification number for everything. So um, you want to copy that of course, and you want to right click on your applier HUD and select edit. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename this. So I'm going to rename it Valent oops, Valentine T-shirt Omega Applier. Okay. Oops. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go into contents. And then there's going to be two scripts in here. The only one that you're going to need to modify, because the, the other one's no modify, is the Omega Upper Applier Config. You want to double click on that. And then the only thing you're going to need to modify is this line up here. There's going to be a series of zeros. And with the number that you just copied from your texture, you're going to remove these zeros and you're going to paste in the number that you just copied from your shirt texture. It's that easy, I'm telling you. And then you click save. Okay. And now, the next thing you want to do just to make sure that everything is loaded up is you want to reset the scripts. Um, if you're going, if you plan on selling this, um, an important thing you need to remember is to change the permissions on it. So make sure it's no modify and make sure it's no transfer if that's what you intend to do. But um, definitely make sure it's no modify or transfer, what what have you. Um, I don't plan on selling it, so it really doesn't matter. It's just for demonstration purposes. Also remember that this shirt is not pretty. Um, the shirt that I made was for for demonstration purposes, so it's not meant to look pretty whatsoever. So it's definitely not my best work. Okay. And we're going to take it back into our inventory, and we're going to test it out on our body. Okay. Now when we test this out, um, we need to make sure that we're wearing the Omega Relay system that's appropriate for our mesh body. So I'm going to do that and I am going to um, cover up so when I test this out it's appropriate enough for YouTube. Okay, since it is a shirt, I do have to censor just for now until I put the shirt on. Um, I want to make it appropriate for YouTube and I, cause I don't want to get in trouble and I know that I do have young viewers. Okay, um, I'm going to um, now add my HUD that we just made, and I'm going to apply it as a top layer, 
and we're gonna wear it as clothing. Okay, and as you can see, it applied my shirt no problem whatsoever. And that's how it looks. And the pliers are that easy. Now, if you were to make pants, um, obviously all you would need to do is, um, you know, just choose the correct one. Like, um, you would choose, or is it lower? Or if you're going to make a skin, you would click skin. If you're going to make a full outfit, you would select outfit. You catch the drift kind of thing. Um, yeah, appliers are really that easy. Um, and like with Tango appliers or um, just uh, the appliers using just standard mesh bot, like regular mesh bodies like Matreya appliers, they really do work the same. Like you would just grab the UUID like I showed you and apply it to where it says put the UUID here kind of thing. So, yeah, it really is that easy. Um, anyhow, um, I hope this was really as easy as I, I said it was going to be. Um, hopefully it was insightful to you. And I am so happy that I could teach you how to do this. Um, like I said in my previous video, I'm no expert at making clothes and or anything like that, but I will try my best to answer any questions that you have. Um, so I really do hope that you enjoy this video. I hope everybody has an amazing new year. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!